Okay, we are live. Give it like five seconds. Everybody, share. share that thing. I just seen something just seen something on Facebook. Here right. we go. We live. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah we live okay so hey everybody happy tuesday this is happy hour with tms we got michelle what do we say the name of? did we change it yet no we, we just said we now you changed it yet you came up with a name though I thought we did. I can't think of what it is right now. We'll, we'll figure it out, though. Um, we're in the building on Tuesday. Everybody is here. We have a familiar face um, in the building. DB is in the building today. He was here last week. He, he was here, like, earlier mm -hmm. in the month, too. We was having Taco Tuesday at G's house. He, this is third appearance this month. What up? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we are going to go around the room like we do every Tuesday, ask everybody why they are happy because it is a happy hour time. It's kind of like reverse happy hour, but we're we going to roll with it. And then uh, we're going to say what we're drinking. So Michelle looks like she wants to tell us first. Go ahead, Michelle. Um, I'm happy because my temperature is now down to only 100. Oh. Um, yeah, when I said I was on the struggle bus, I was on the struggle bus for real. Oh my God, I was... Yesterday I was up to 102.4. You should have um, been Yeah. And, well, no, if it had got to 103, I would have been there. But um, so now I for the first time, like it's been a couple of hours now, I don't have a headache and oh. the temperature is coming down to regular. So that's why I'm happy. Well, good. That's a good and thing. I'm sitting here sweating. So y'all might see me do this a couple of times, but I'm like, Why don't you go get, your, get you a sweat towel? Yeah, get I'm you here. a good time. Like Biggie Smalls. Right. <laughs> well, ain't it good I have one. I have one, the kind that you um that stays wet, you know, that keeps you cool, but yeah. it's pink and it still bleeds. And I can't do it with my white oh, shirt. You need one of those fans. Let me show you. I got a fan that I use. And um <laughs> and I'm drinking uh coconut water because I need to replace some electrolytes and get it together. Um because I've only eaten um <laughs> Like applesauce, pickle, and popcorn, like in the last 48 hours. Oh, see, I bought one of these fans off Amazon. Can it keep you cool? Oh, that would work if you were sick, I guess, or mm -hmm. outside. Of. Okay. Michelle, you need to get one of them. You need to borrow his so you can get your electric, uh, your, your your body temperature regulate. Oh, I'm sorry you're sick. We hope you feel better. Thank you. Too. Right. Hey, get well, Michelle. Yeah. Thank you, God. Uh, DB. Why are you happy today, and what are you drinking? Uh, I'm drinking uh crown vanilla with uh some some crystal light lemonade. Uh, and I'm happy. Why uh, are you crystal light fan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, oh, I'm trying yeah. to be healthy, man. I'm trying to be healthy, but I'm not. That awful. <laughs> huh? That sounds awful. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try, Michelle. Don't knock it till you try. Man, hey man, don't hey, don't hey, whatever you do, don't try to please him about with your dream choices. Yeah, yeah. He will get on you about your dream choices, okay? <laughs> no, right? I wasn't doing my dream choices and my hair choice. choice. They don't know nothing about injury. Whenever you do something like, you know, just get something and, and you make it work. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do they that. Get sparkling oh, yeah. water and everything. I think else. I'm happy because it's Christmas time, you know. I'm I'm kind of see what I'm not gonna get for Christmas. I'm ready to see that. Uh, oh, not gonna get you. no, so you know, <laughs> just you know, I'm happy that it's you know, it's a new year's upon us, so new yeah. year's, new plans, new goals. You don't have to wait for the new year to begin your new goals, but you know, start today. But you know, I'm happy for the, the time of the year. I like this time of the year. I'm not a super Christmassy guy, but I like this time of the year. Sis is here, yeah, I can respect that. Appreciate it. I like the parties. Be honest, I'm sure, <laughs> but it's good. Come out, everybody getting together, showing love, happiness. Yeah, so I get that. Too. Yeah, eggnog, eggnog is good. I like it. I love eggnog. I got the southern comfort eggnog in the fridge right now. Okay. All right, well, gee, what are you drinking? And why are you happy? 
Well, you know me drinking my Jack Daniels and ginger ale. Um, I usually yeah. have some ginger beer, but I ain't even gonna get it. So, uh, why am I happy? Hey, I got you know I got my little man in there. He usually on Tuesdays he ain't here, but today he here. Okay. You know he was happy. He was begging to come over. <laughs> Dre day. Dre day. And Dre got some ice. Uh, this following uh was a couple of days ago. He, no. I put it up. Oh. I put why it up. You, why you hating on Dre's ice? Because because he, he turned into a whole different person. <laughs> that chain came on. Oh, he thought he was the smoothest thing around. Oh, you should have saw. Dad, take a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Got my chain on. He sitting chain. He's sitting there to be chilling. Look like oh, in the mirror. I'm like, mm -mm, no. Man. Give me this. Give me that. Come on, give me that back. Man, you can't boost his confidence with the chain. Why y'all hating on him? I'm here for it. I'm gonna get him a bracelet. I already told you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, your dad can't take this from you because he didn't buy it. <laughs> I mean, the poses was killing me. Take a picture, daddy. <laughs> Trey was icy. You, you just really? had it all the time. I, I, I put it up. <laughs> well, became a whole new character. Huh? Man, you hear me? <laughs> you hear right now. He got a theme song. Right. Boy, you were six. <laughs> Not 16. There he is. Um, Yourself, Tia. <laughs> Listen to that. I'm, uh, right, right. I'm, um, I'm drinking like I always am. Truly, I need a sponsorship from Truly, uh, but I'm drinking a strawberry lemonade, a watermelon. I love watermelon, so watermelon lemonade, uh, Truly, today. And uh, I'm also happy for the holiday season. I love the holidays. I love being around uh, your friends and family and just uh, people are just nicer during the Christmas and holiday season. So I like that. They're, they're happier. Everyone is in good spirit. So that makes me happy. That's why I'm happy today. All right. So. I thought you was happy because you were turning into that, that burger. You was. Oh, that burger was really good. So. Um, I thought you was going to stay. Thank yeah. you. That's what I said, too. It's easy, yeah. I got a bunless burger from Smash Burger, and they put like huge uh, pieces of like lettuce and tomato in there. So you can't like cut it with the fork. You have to use the knife. So that's what I look like. I'm, uh, okay. I'm gonna try it. Burgers, bunless burgers are amazing. It had like great stuff on it and jalapenos. It was spicy, and they have this amazing uh, chipotle sauce that is spicy and great. So <laughs> also, you tearing into that thing. I was worried what you was getting into. You was like, you eating the steak? I am not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat steak like that. So yeah, I'm not. I get time for a steak. You ain't lying. I thought about that. <laughs> All right. So our, we have a guest coming on, um, coming on shortly. But in the interim of our guests coming on, we're going to have Michelle talk. Michelle, I guess DB and, and uh, G know about sports. So we're going to have them talk about sports until our guest gets here. So what's going on in sports? So the big news right now is that Steph Curry just um, became the three-point king. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a lot of hype all day uh, about the fact that he was going to do it at Madison Square Garden. You know, when you looking at your, your road thing, it was like, oh, ho, ho, hold up, hold up. Okay, mm -hmm. MSG, you know, most famous, you know, court all over. Mm -hmm. And so um, they pulled out all the fanfare. Um, Ray Allen is the record that he broke, so he's there at the game. And then Ray Allen broke Reggie Miller's record. He's there calling the game. And so it's like everybody, everybody in the building. <laughs> and um, it's just a lot because you think about how much time Steph Curry has to play. Who knows how long this record is going to last? This The one that he just broke has been here for 10 years. And uh, so, but the next person coming, who knows? Like, I mean, he's like the greatest shooter ever. He is. Definitely a good shooter. Ever. Like, but, it, but, but basketball has another... evolved so much, too. You know, it's not the same from like it was 15 years ago. You know, everybody, it is either it's a layup or it's a three point shot. Here's the bad, and the bad part about it in the beginning of his career, he didn't play that much because those ankle injuries. Yeah. Now, imagine that, that record would have been broke years ago and he'd have been padding yeah. that, padding that stats. Yeah, but the but first Steph two years Curry of his career, he was hurt real bad with his ankles. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, so the, problem, the problem was in his hips. Yeah. And he got yeah. that fixed and he ain't had no yeah. issues since then. Yeah. Now, now, Steph Curry has at least another six, seven years 
probably long because he's just a shooter. Yeah. Can you imagine what that record is going to be? Yeah. So like Michelle says, 10 years may take another 15, maybe longer than that to, for somebody else to come along. You never know. Uh, Very young. Uh, I'm I'm more optimistic about it because I feel like basketball has changed and, and like the three point shot is the go to shot. Nobody wants to see no because because of Steph Curry, nobody mm-hmm. wants to really see a dunk. They want to see a long three point shot. You right. Know? Like it's more your tight career, the analytics. Yeah. Can you stage well, your career with all that banging? Yep. Yeah. And the analytics says the three point shot is the best shot, so that's what they're they're working on the numbers right now. Okay. Oh, analytics. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> They would rather like brick a whole lot of threes than to keep taking the sure twos because there's more bang for the buck. And, the and you see it in the game. The nerds get the game. Get the nerds out the game. <laughs> hey, the points want to see the, the fans want to see the points go up. They want to see 120 and 130 point, you know, game. So don't make the to, to shoot the three. Play. Yeah. So um Another funny thing in sports, but not really. Um, OJ is off of parole in Nevada, so he's a completely free man. <laughs> Who? What do y'all think? OJ. Orenthal. OJ Killer. Orenthal. Wait a minute. <laughs> OJ Simpson. Orenthal. What, what kind of shenanigans do y'all think we're about to see? <clears throat> oh, he's going to be all over. The- he was already a mess before, so he's going to be. <laughs> He ain't going to be running through the airport no more. I mean, <laughs> you know. Hers going to do a commercial run through an airport. Come here, sir. And they're going to get arrested. you will get arrested uh, in a beatdown. That's do a, so funny. Uh, he should do a commercial on gloves. That's- ah! Isotoners. Oh, Isotoners. <laughs> oh, if it don't fit, you must Perfect have fit. <laughs> That'd be good too. Kitchen knives. Let's get perfect <laughs> fit. Y'all are Kitchen terrible. Knives, it never it's, ends. Oh man, it's my fault because I brought it up. But y'all are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> he said a good knife set. If you want to kill it, this how you do it. <laughs> JC Finn is doing on a knife set. No QVC. Let's get him on there. QVC. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Oh. How to really he gonna make it how to really get away with murder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay never like you never let it down. Like it's nothing. Yeah. I don't care what they say. Totally terrible. And then uh anything in football y'all want to talk about. The big thing right now is like everybody's going into severe COVID protocols. So all these teams have all these players tested and positive or haven't been exposed. It's like nuts. This is the wrong part of the season to be having all these issues, especially for some of the teams that are in the situation. And I'm just like, man, COVID is stupid. It's coming we, back. The variant, yeah, heavy. Yeah. So um, Detroit has a player shortage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, Detroit has a talent shortage. Um, that, that was the, that was number one thing. Now oh, they got was, a player that shortage. Was, that was low blow. That was a low blow. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, let's not act like COVID is the reason they can't win. Michelle, okay. I'll stop you when you start lying. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Hey, we can go fly out there and suit up. They'll let us. <laughs> Are you ready for Jehovah's return? Um, I don't <laughs> think you should. They don't have nobody that's going to block for you. Don't give me in the game. I just want to sit on the sideline and make that check just rock the just in case. It's a 10-day contract. That's all I want, 10-day contract. If you go get signed, you better... You, if you go get signed, you better go to the strip club and get COVID. So then you can be on the reserve list too. No. Yeah. Um, That's it. That's all I got for sports. Okay. Okay. Um, for celebrity gossip, <clears throat> I have been living through these Jesse Smollett uh, memes for the last week ever since he got... <laughs> He was found guilty of the charges. So if anybody's been following the Jesse Smollett case, he lied and said that some uh, Caucasian people put a noose around his neck and attacked him and all this other foolishness. So the story didn't make, I didn't believe the story when he told me. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking, okay, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Like it just, it was, it sounded like an old school word, cockamamie story, like the old folks would say. It didn't make any sense, but um, he was found guilty of five counts of disorderly conduct for making five 
false reports to the police that he was a victim of a hate crime and this happened in 2019 so it kind of got drug out because we were in the midst of covid so he didn't have a trial so they were like oh 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 we did not forget about your food <laughs> <laughs> count one was he was making a false oh no my brother um and <clears throat> of course and he was a, a victim of the uh hate crime uh, he made a false report saying that he was battered um he made a false report Again, saying that he was a victim of a hate crime, um, another count of battery. Um, he got like five five counts. So they're saying what happens next is a disorderly conduct, conduct charge for a false crime report is a class four felony and punishable by three years in prison and possibly a fine of $25,000, which I feel like he should get more than that because you are doing too much. And, uh, you lied on white people. Get more yeah. than that. Not even that. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, but it just, it, it looked bad. Like, oh, man. Um, but the Kyle Rittenhouse took a whole gun to a whole protest and shot whole people yeah. and got nothing. Right, right, so right. that's why I'm not feeling it. I don't. Hello. Yeah. Hi, here our guest is in the building. Oh. oh, how are you? Can you hear us? Not yet. Right. Connecting his audio, Mr. Back Back. There we go. There we go. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. There we go. What's going down, y'all? Hey, oh. welcome to Happy Hour with TMS. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. Okay, so we start our show because we are a happy hour crew. So Absolutely. we normally start the show asking why you're happy and what you are drinking. So do you have an alcoholic beverage? I do have an alcoholic drink. <laughs> you got champagne? A little champagne. Champagne sipping Is bubbly. It? Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you happy today? I mean, you have numerous reasons to. to I have, I look, man, I, I look, I, I, I don't want to take up all your time. If you ask me why I'm happy, I got a million reasons to be happy. Brand new album, the greatest of all players out right now, going crazy, super proud of it. Single taking off, date night. It's the holiday season. I'm healthy. I'm alive. Hey, man. And the legacy is popping. It, look, I, I, I'm just feeling good right now, man. God is great. I love it. Amen, amen. Right, well, I love it. We'll jump right into it. So mm -hmm. I'm from Houston, and uh -huh. I went to college in um, North Carolina and then grad school in Nebraska. And my screensaver right. was, screw you, I'm from Texas. Absolutely. And it had the tapes. It had the, the, the cars. It had the, everything on it. So Absolutely. just you talk about coming up, being one of the legends with the screwed up click. Um, you know, like I always tell people, I said, when you're making history, you don't really know you're making history. You know what I'm saying? You're just having fun. So I'm at a point in my career now where I can really look back and appreciate all my hard work and, and the fruits of my labor and, and realize like, wow, you really made your dreams come true. You really made a name for yourself. You really uh, are part of something that will that will live longer than you. So it is, you know, it, it's it's really humbling. It, it, I understand what I'm doing now. I'm an anomaly. Not too many people can have a career as long as mine and still put out music and have people still care and tour and appreciate it. So I'm, I'm just thankful, man. Like it's like when she asked, "Why are you happy?" It's 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 it's, it's crazy, you know. It's, it's so you know, I'm I'm taking it in just like everybody else, and, right. and I'm you know I'm shocked. And, and in awe, and I'm just super grateful, man, that the, the art has lasted this long. It's like, I still get tweets and posts from people jamming the very first song I ever put out with Destiny's Child Can't Stop. That was, what, how many, tw oh, 23 years ago? Like, it's, they jam it like it's yet came out yesterday. It's like, I go to clubs now and they put on Players Get Chose and they act like it just came out last week. You know what I'm saying? I still think like it came man. out last you week. Yeah, I it's like I, it, for you. yeah, it's just it's, it's 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 just it's just crazy from the backpack going viral during the pandemic, and I was wondering, like, why am I getting all these posts? Right, and it's like I'm seeing them making these 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 memes, and it's just it, I'm I'm just grateful because I, I'm one of those guys that I always take a lot of pride in my art. And they're all my Picassos. So yeah, like, man, you can say you got classic music, man. You can, no, doubt, people, no doubt, not too many people can say that. Mm. You could have made a back, back yeah, it's, 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 like, it's, you could have jumped it's, on the mask. Man, it's a good, it's, it's a, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's like you know, I got a greatest hits album, so it's like hey. it's like it's that many records. The catalog mm -hmm. is is that long. It's that 
it's it's written in stone. So I, I'm just enjoying the fruits of my labor, and I but I also feel like it's still more chapters to write. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Patting them stats. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. What'd you say? Patting those stats. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. G. Yo. So oh well, one of the things. So I I've heard this already, but most people not may not even know this. Okay. Tell them where Fat Rat with the cheese came from. Fat Rat. Uh, I mean, can we be, can, can we can we be raw and uncut? Or is this absolutely? A, you can yeah, be raw and cut. Absolutely. You, you want raw and uncut? Okay. Well, I mean, look, you know, before social media and people were so reckless with their business and posting all what they did. <laughs> And you know, pe people now they post 50 bricks on social media and think, oh, so what's this thought me whoop the whoop. <laughs> well, back in my trapping days, you know, I used to, I'm just being honest, I used to be a trapper, I used to be a wild guy. We talked in codes. I I'm from the era where you kept things discreet. So cheese was actually what we called dope. You know what I'm saying? No one called your phone and said, hey, do you got some dope? They'd be like, hey, you got cheese. So we was ranking on the uh, on the corner one day, and I used to be a lot bigger too because I used to drink a lot of drink before I got healthy, changed my life, and yeah. and, and started caring about things like that. So you know, we was ranking one day, and it was my guy was like, "Oh, you look like a little fat rat," and I was like, "It's all right though, fat rat got the cheese." So yeah. everybody was just like, "Okay," so it just started sticking. Hey, fat rat, you got some cheese? You got some cheese? Cheese? Yeah. Then it stuck like fat rat got the cheese, fat rat with the cheese, fat rat got all the work. Yeah. So it's like it stuck with me onto the rap game. People think it's just something I made up to be a rapper, but it was actually just a hustler nickname out the West that stuck with me, and I that I kept it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's the that's 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 the honest <laughs> that's the honest where Fat Rap with the Cheese came from. You know what I'm saying? Know. See, I yeah. knew where that came from because hey, Michelle, guess what? Guess who told me about that? Salu. Mm -hmm. You know, I Salu know. was cool. It was was cool with pretty much his brother Booby. And you know he was cool with uh, he was cool with uh, Big Mo, everybody. So he happened to know that. I'm yeah, like, no Is doubt. That why? Oh. <laughs> no doubt. It's like people, <laughs> people, people always think that it's something I, uh, I made up to be a uh, cool or some rapping Monica. I was like, nah. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, caught, it caught on and it's sticking. Yeah, with caught you. on. It's part of the it's, 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 it's part of the legacy, man. It's just you know. We built on to bigger and better things and more positive things, but you know, that's that's the honest where it came from. It came from the streets of the Southwest. You know what I'm saying? I have two two questions. So the first okay. one is <clears throat> so you said you was trapping, getting the big cheese or mm -hmm. selling the big cheese. I'm from Nebraska, so I don't really know how that terminology, but <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so um what 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 turned you into rapping then? Uh well you know golly y'all gonna make me sound like a notorious criminal by the time I'm done I don't like that because everybody got a pass I feel like, everybody I, got a I pass. try to be I try to be a very positive dude it's not something I'm not one of those guys that likes to brag on his past or or, or think it's a badge of honor you know what I'm saying so mm -hmm. I always try to shed some positive and let you know the youth know it's other ways to be successful absolutely but um. My first time being locked up, I was just writing poetry, really going uh, what I went through. And my celly, one day he was like, what you writing? You know what I'm saying? And I told him, and he was like, man, that's dope. So the next day he saw me writing and he came back with a friend. And he was like, hey man, what you doing? And I was like, I'm writing again. And he was like, well, let me, let, let, let us hear that. And I was like, man, that's really dope. So then the third day he came back with more guys out the tank. And then I started noticing by Friday, Everybody was like, man, hey, you ain't gonna spit us nothing today, oh. So it's like I I was like, people actually really like this. And when I when I got out, I just kept rocking with it because I felt like it was yeah. it wasn't even something of being a rapper, it was just my way to release. You get what right. I'm saying? Because um, you know, it wasn't I'm not one of those guys that's like uh you know, I, I don't care about rap. Uh, I, I really loved the art and I found it was a way to express myself and I just stayed with it. And the rest is history, you know what I'm saying? And that's where the passion came from, when I started realizing that people actually cared about what I said, you know what I'm saying? Right. All right, so you have two uh, trap bangers out right now. No um, doubt. You have, uh, is Tee Lee? Is that how you T. say Lee, it? Tee Lee, for okay, sure. Okay, featuring um, the legendary Texas DJ Michael Watts, what's your house? Absolutely. Okay, and then you have another one called Bossed Up featuring Crooner Wonders. That's right. That's right. You got it right. 
Okay, so so tell us about the art and the the heart and energy that you put into making those two songs. They're amazing. So, Thank so you. give us some some feedback on that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, um, T Lee was just it, it's the ultimate turn up trap banger. It just has that 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 energy to it. But I I didn't want to fall victim to uh or fall into the pattern of making songs that sounded normal. I think I've always uh, lasted this long because I wasn't scared to be original. And I didn't want my songs to sound like just a regular old trap mm -hmm. song. So right. I wanted to bring back elements of hip hop that I felt that made us fall in love with hip hop. And to me, that was the DJ as far as, so, you know, when I heard this song, I was like, this is crazy, but I want to, I want to do live scratching on it. So I immediately thought of the legend DJ Michael Watts because even though it's a trap banger, I, I want to, I represent Southern hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So I called him in there and when he heard the beat and it's crazy, you said it's amazing because the scratch in there is you're amazing. And when we put it together, I think it elevated the song and it just, it just became a real banger. And people always ask me, you know, that aren't ne necessarily that street inclined or from H town of Texas. Like what the hell does T Lee mean? They say, I don't know what, what it means, but, it just sounds good. It's just yeah. catchy. It just I know yeah. it's something. So, yeah. you know, T. Lee is H-Town street slang for how we start a dice game. You go yes, like yes, one guy sir. takes one dice. I and take another dice. dice. We both roll. Whoever has the highest point gets to roll first. So, yeah, start, I heard about it. I heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. I heard about that. So they're like, OK, what's T. Lee? So pretty much with the song, I'm saying T. Lee shoot the dice, but the song is pretty much saying I gambled on myself mm. and, and I won. See, a lot of people want a lot of things in life, but they will risk nothing. Right. So I was saying, T. Lee, shoot the dice, done it once, done it twice. Meaning every odd that was against me, anything, all my dreams, anything I accomplished, I risked it all. I gambled on myself and won. So that's Absolutely. basically what, what the song is about. And it just became a trap anthem. You know what I'm saying? I'm real proud of it. The video's dope. It's going crazy right now. And the other song, Bossed Up, um, is very instrument. It, it's very, it has a lot of instruments in it. It's a feel good record. It, 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 it reminds you of an old Marvin Gaye song or something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, uh, growing, growing up in Texas, we listen to all kinds of different musics. We might listen to the Osley Brothers screwed up. And, you know, it's like we, like we like that live sound. So when I heard Bossed Up in the beat, it just felt good. It's just the song. It, it's, it's the song you want to play when that direct deposit hit. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 that's, no, seriously. It's the song you want to play when, when, when you've walked across the stage, when you've gotten that job, when you yeah. when you bought your new car. It's, 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 it's a song of celebration. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, it's that I've achieved the goal. And it, it just feels real good, man. It's not... That song wasn't meant to reinvent the wheel, but it was it was meant for you to have a real good time and drink a lot of champagne and smile. Yeah. And I think those those songs is important <clears throat> too, right? Right. Yeah. 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 So I love both right. of those records, man. I'm real proud of them. Right. Okay. Well, I'm a T Lee kind of person, you know. I like yeah, no both you know me. No I'm doubt. Lee, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm with that kind of stuff. But the album, uh, The Greatest of All Players, which came out uh, this Friday, November yeah. uh, uh, 19th. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so like, which, which app, what, what do you what do you want people to get from the album? Like, what do you want them to like take from? Um, it? Well, you know, uh, my catalog is vast, man, and um, I can honestly say I'm a guy that's known for putting out so many classic albums. Um, I didn't want to put out anything if I felt it didn't match right. the level of uh, or intensity of what my fans are used to. The greatest of all players. I can honestly say it's impeccable work. I honestly feel like I, I'm, I'm an anomaly. I think a lot of times in artists' careers, you can, if you follow them, you can, you, you can generally see their decline. You get what I'm saying? Right. Well, I feel like I've aged in reverse. I feel like this is my best work. The Greatest of All Players is a classic project. It's impeccable work. It's something that's going to last me. Um, Star Studded, the homie Bum B is on there. Lil Kiki is on there. Big Pokey's on there. DJ chose Killer Kalyon. It's just, it's just, it's just a great representation of Texas. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And how it's just sound now. It's like I think a lot of times people have a, a notion of what SUC sounds like instead of realizing that hey, we we evolved too. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? We grow too. So to me, this is what Lil O should sound like in 2021, but still 
keeping close to his Texas roots, but still growing and, and elevating the sound. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a dope album, man. I love it. New single, uh, Day Night Going Crazy right now. Video that's dropping the, this week. What'd you say? Right there. That's, that's the one for too. me, man. Yeah, it's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. It's, it's, yeah. it's a vibe, man. I just wanted to bring a whole lot of different vibes on this album because yeah. we can go from T. Lee to Bossed Up to Date Night to mm -hmm. how they do. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like I, 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 I'm at a point in my career where I'm really can honestly say I understand what I am. I understand um, what I've done. I don't really feel like I have nothing to prove. I'm having fun. And I'm bringing back to the game what I feel like is missing. Like, I want to bring back the love to the game. I want to bring back couples going out on dates. I don't want to follow the trends of social media. And it seems like every day you, you wake up and it, it's like the war of the sexes. It's like men against women and women. But I think it's dope to have a girl that's down with you. I think it's, I think it's good to have someone to do this thing called life with you know what i'm saying yeah. i think it's great to have a a, a man that, that that takes you out so that's what date night was about it was about yeah. you know look man i'm having a good time out with my girl and that's why we started the date night challenge too i didn't think it would be as crazy as it is but um <laughs> it's actually going crazy and it makes me feel good just to see all these couples going out together having a good time because if you if you didn't see it the way social media portrays it you would just think that love is dead and and, yeah. and, and, and you get what i'm saying so yeah i, I yeah. i'm so I'm, I'm so proud of date night and, and and the response has just been nuts it, you know i pretty much know when i have a big record day night is 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 is, is a smash and it's gone yeah, it's you know, i can't it's wait good. for y'all to see the video we really rep the culture on that and i don't want to give out all the details but i think the city gonna be super proud when they see what i pulled off for that one nice, nice. okay well we have a we have some listeners uh some of our followers listening on the live feed and so uh, one of our listeners, Leroy, said, ask you, since you mentioned date night, um, ask you about your dining out. You're known as a restaurant guru. Absolutely. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm the food porn king, if you don't know. I'm a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a connoisseur of fine dining, and my palate is unmatched. You know, oh. I'm just being honest. I've been all over the, the world uh, eating at the best restaurant. So it's like, I didn't even know I was developing a fan base for food, to be honest with you, because, you know, right. Like, I'm not a, I'm just to be honest with you, I'm an older dude. So it's like, when I do social media, I'm just having fun. It's not like it was, I'm doing it to be clout based. So when I was posting food, I was just literally at restaurants having fun. Come to find out, it became a, 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 a foodie thing. They, and they started calling me Lil always the food porn king. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, now I understand it and I'm happy to do it because I just like great restaurants. I feel a lot of times like you can't talk to people in clubs. So when you get go out with somebody because it's so loud, it's so, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? But at a restaurant, you can talk to somebody, you can have a conversation. And, and so that's, that's why I always flock to restaurants. So is the question he was asking, do I have any suggestions for a restaurant or is he just yeah. asking what I like? Yeah. Is, is he, it, uh, I'll give you my time. I'll give you one that I just went to. <clears throat> Actually, this weekend, if you go to my page, I mean, this is a good story, too. It's in the Four Seasons downtown. It's called uh, Toro Toro. And it's a Latin, it's a Latin American themed steakhouse. And it was amazing. It was mm -hmm. like, if, if you go to my Instagram page, I posted some of the pics and videos from it. So I was wondering, I was like, why is people, why am I seeing some of these, you know, the what, what what's the vomit emoji? The green the, throw, Yeah, because... Yeah. So it's a dessert they make. Right. And it's a chocolate bowl. It's a bowl made out of chocolate. And they put different ice creams in it and, and fr fresh fruit. And what they do is they wrap a, 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 a see-through saran wrap over your table. So it, you can't tell that there's clear plastic on your table, but they pick it up and they go one, two, three, and then they drop it and it cracks everywhere. Oh, and, then, okay. and then they they pour like straw uh uh like uh white vanilla chocolate all over it so yeah. it was great it's Ooh, a great presentation it was bossy 
Yeah. But people thought I was really eating off the table. That's like, big bro, is that sanitary? I was like, what is y'all talking about, man? Like, oh, you better than that, man. I can't believe you would really eat off a table. And I'm like, I wanted to be like, fam, do you really think I would eat off a table? Right. I was like, why, I was like, why do they think I'm eating off a table? Right. And then I thought about it. I said, they don't know it's a clear surround when I'm over the table. <laughs> but I was like, God damn, man. Like, wouldn't you give me the benefit of the doubt? Do you really think I would just let somebody throw my food on the table and just be like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But, hey, man. Welcome to social no, media, man. They was hurling yeah. me, too. They was like, well, you the food poor king, but that's nasty. <laughs> I was like, man, come on, fam. But, you know, hey, I'll be a day in the life, man. Uh, have you ever oh, eaten? Toro, Lord? definitely check it out in the Four Seasons downtown. It's top notch. Toro, Toro? Toro, Toro. Toro, Toro. So, have you ever eaten little Kiki's food? Because he claimed he can cook real good. Oh, uh, he, he made big pokey. No, no, little Kiki and Big Pokey, you know, I really can't get into this one because it's a real war of really? uh, chefs going on right now. <laughs> they both my brothers. They yeah, both yeah. on my album. But they are re- like, people think it's a joke. They is really serious about yeah. it right now. Yeah. So, you know, I, all I'm going to say is they both got a little something. Okay, you don't want to get in that. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't want to get in, but they both got a little something. But Kiki he, he makes like a mean sidecar, though. He makes a mean sidecar cocktail. He makes oh, a mean sidecar. But okay. cooking wise, they both got some. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, like, so I want you more, more so, like, speak on, like, the importance of hip hop, like, the, well, our hip hop, Houston hip hop uh, icons, hip-hop. the culture of the music, like, a lot just throughout time. Like, what is the importance of that? Because, like, you gotta remember, man, the styles are, are changing. Yeah, but, but Houston, we have a sound, and Absolutely. we want to. And, and how to, and what? How is important is that for us um, to keep that Houston sound? Uh, you know that that's a weird question because it's like our sound was just us doing us, and it became the sound. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Right, right. It's like what we did became the sound. So mm-hmm. it's like when that when people say you know the styles are changing and whoop whoop, I love to experiment with new music. I love to hear new sounds. I just think it's important in general to have your own wave, even if you want to grow, even if you want to evolve. It's like when I listen to East Coast music, I don't want to listen to an East Coast artist that sounds like Future. You know what I'm saying? I want to listen to Future for that. When I listen mm-hmm. to a West Coast artist. I want to listen to an artist that that makes me feel like he's letting me know what's going on on the West Coast. You know, that's why I like Nipsey Hussle so much, because Mm -hmm. in a time where people would say, oh, Styles was changing, he still sounded like the quintessential West West Coast Coast artist. So when you listen to Lil O, I'm I'm always going to experiment with new sounds, and I definitely feel it's important to grow. But I think it's important when you listen to Lil O, you feel like, man, this is Texas. Because that's what, if that's the case, we all sound alike. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. why I make songs called T. Lee. And I don't give a damn what that, if, if, if you know what that means or not. This is how we talk now here. Sure. And if you don't right. know, right. you know, after listening to my music, you will get to know it. You know what I'm saying? Just like certain stuff they say on the East Coast, I didn't know what it meant, but I was so intrigued with the music that I wanted to know what it meant. And that's the, I think that's just what makes us special. It's like, Ride your, you know, ride your own wave and let people come to you instead of trying to sound like somebody else. Like I had no idea what done language was, but I liked Mob Deep. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I understood I wanted to get in, in, involved with their culture. And I think sometimes a lot of these new artists, they think they have to sound like they're from somewhere else to get on. And in and, and the process, they end up getting lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? Where they can just be themselves and really stick out. And I'm always stick to the script because that what makes me me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want to sound like nobody else. I don't want nobody to think I'm trying to sound like nobody else. I think that's just what makes me special and why I've lasted this long. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming to the end of your amazing interview. So leave us with some gems, like whatever you want to share with our listeners. Um, You know, First of all, I just want to say shout out to everybody that's been rocking with me since day one, man. 
It's like, I, like, like, like when we started off this interview, man, I can't tell you how humbled I am, how incredibly grateful, you know, at this point in my career, when I see the love and, 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 and I, I, it's, it's, it's been an incredible long journey. So shout out to everybody that's just been rocking with me day one. Um, the greatest of all players is out right now. It's like, I'm like Frank Lucas, man. Wait, wait, remember when, no, remember when he said, you know, when he said, I stand on my product, he knew Blue Magic was, was mm -hmm. the best. That's how I am with the greatest of all players, man. It's impeccable music. It's not just a hot album. It's art. This is something I feel like 20 years from now, they're going to put in the catalogs with my other classics and other quintessential albums like Ryan Dirty and the Fat Rat with the Cheese and Don't Mess With That, that represent Texas. The right. greatest of all players is that. So I'm really excited for everybody to hear. Thank you to everybody that's been streaming it already. The numbers is just, it's, I'm, I'm blown away, man. If you haven't heard it, check it out right now. It's something on there for everybody. And it's just an incredible piece of work. And, a, and, and an incredible representation of Texas, man. So mm -hmm. the greatest of all players out right now, get ready for the date night video. Check oh, out really? the Fossed Up video, the Tea Leaf video. And yeah. people always wondering where they can find me, man. I'm always on social media. I always post a lot and let people know what I got going on. So you can follow me on Instagram, S-U-C-L-O. That's S-U-C-L-I-L-O. And that's actually on my social media, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. If you ever want to find me, just go to any social media site and type in S-U-C-L-I-L-O and I'll pop right up, man. So just shout out, shout out to everybody for showing me love all these years. And I've never let the streets down and I feel like I didn't do it. I feel like I didn't let nobody down with the greatest wild players. In fact, I think they're going to be shocked and in for a great surprise. Thank you to guys like y'all having me. I appreciate uh, y'all spreading the movement and spreading the word and we're just having fun, man. Happy holidays to everybody. Y'all be safe out here. Absolutely. We got one more question. We got another thing. Lee. Tell me about T. Lee. <laughs> we got one more fan. They said, ask him what he was thinking when he did players get chose because that's a malehood national anthem. <laughs> yeah. We know it would be as big as it became. Uh, I had I had absolutely no idea. That's a dope song. Thank you so much. Like, like, I, like, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had absolutely no idea. I'm not gonna lie. I had no clue. Uh, players get chose was just really just how I felt, man. It's like you know, you know. I just felt like you know I was very arrogant at the time because I was I was a young brother having it his way and. and 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 having bread and, and but I felt like I was still very smart because I you know one thing you learn about uh being a player is like because you I started meeting other girls and stuff like that and some of some of these girls had guys that had way more money than me they were athletes they were this and that but they were lame they just didn't have they couldn't or they were shockingly stupid and girls are very smart. I love it. Shockingly. Yeah, yeah, no, girls Shockingly are very stupid. smart. So it's like you can have money. So if, if, if you're not a player, if, if, you, if you're just... Let me write it down. Yeah, she's just, yeah, you know. So it's like I, I started realizing that, hey, man, girls like hanging out with me. Girls actually like me for me. It's good to it's good to have uh, uh, bread and be able to do things. But it's different when you can actually talk to a woman and she's like, I choose him. I like being with him. So that's mm -hmm. why I was like, players get toes, man. You don't have to sweat on it. And, and the rest is, it was just the truth. And it's, it, it's just, it's, it's just the realest anthem to this day. I live by that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. look, if you ain't got no charm, man, you. Yeah. I mean, you, I, you, you know, you're, you, 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 you just, you're just a sucker, man. Yeah, you're just, man. Up, man. You're just a lick. You're yeah. Just a that's lick. all right. Yeah. You should have never. I always tell people, man, don't ever leave with your wallet. If your wallet is all you got, then then you you you, you know you you in bad shape, brother. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're in bad shape, brother. I mean, don't get you know. And, I mean, and let's just be real. Look, go on social media and look at all these athletes getting got and, and, ah. and looking like ducks and, and, and <laughs> you know this you know <laughs> letting all the players down and, and it's like how could you be so dumb and stupid but we're gonna turn uh I'm saying Tristan you gotta write a book oh you gotta write yeah, a book man yeah no, we're gonna turn gonna Tristan book. Thomas into an adjective oh, Tristan man. Thompson so dumb. oh man that boy <laughs> you know what you know it's like we're gonna turn into an adjective he's just he's just filthy 
That is a dirty <laughs> boy, man. That is a dirty, like, you know, I, I, I rarely, rarely ever seldom side with the women. I'm just being honest. I'm a male show for this. But you know what? Enough is enough. You, you know, I feel, yeah. I, I feel sorry for Chloe, man. What's wrong with that boy, man? Hey, Just man, reckless boy. and, and reckless. out of line, and man, nah, man. You know, I always tell, you know, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like, you know, the irresponsibility of these dudes. Because even mm. if you could afford to have you know, kids, I think, I just don't think it's, it's, you know, I don't, I don't like that just running around here, just, you know, it's sloppy, nice. man, these boys right. moving super sloppy, and that's definitely not player, man. And we're in the social media, there. so wherever it comes on the internet, it's there forever. Oh, <laughs> man, oh, man, he's a meme, man, he's a meme. <laughs> yeah, he's a meme, they gonna make, they gonna make that, that, that Dirty D t-shirt for Tristan, man. Oh. Dirty D, <laughs> man. <laughs> dirty D. Put his Dirty face on dude, it. Man. You know, so so definitely that's not player. So nah, what it that's is. lame as fuck. Thank you for leaving it at that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you so here. much, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Y'all have a blessed holiday. You too. The greatest of our players out right now, man. Shout out That's to all you. I'm going to get that. Yeah, real get talk, man. And, and even further more projects come up. You come back and see us. Absolutely. Yes, That's yes. a done data, man. Salute to y'all. Thank yeah. All right, thanks, little O. Y'all right, be good. We need to be on a date night video. Oh, yeah. Get ready. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, no. It, 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 it's, it's seriously, the date night video is of epic proportions. Okay. Remember I told you that. It's okay. coming out this week. Okay. We're putting the final edits on it right now. The culture is in good hands, man. Y'all get Absolutely. ready for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all be good, man. Salute. That's love, man. Appreciate you. Right, love. Y'all be good. Y'all be good. Dope, dope, dope. I forgot to say, damn, I forgot to say 8,900 Braves will, ho. I'm about to say that. <laughs> you me that oh, man. Oh, <laughs> man, I want to say that shit. I'm tripping. You uh, like uh, you like when you get in an argument with somebody and you meant to say something else. You're like, damn it, I should have said I had to. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew I talked too fast. Man, I would have say, hey, oh, tell them where you're from. Uh, hey, man, honey, Wood, holy, man, hey, for real. Yeah, hey, I like that shit. Hey, man, boys don't realize when that when that, like like when he said that, like you be in the club to this day. When they like Houston is we like we so into our culture. When they play, when they drop players get chose, yeah, like you like. You, I might be a little tipsy, but I feel like a pimp in that moment. Like, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, I, I, I feel like that. I'm gonna get chose. Like, I may I, have one. I, I, I may I, have I, a half a t-shirt on, you but I'm gonna like get chose. I wrote this song. A half a I wrote this song. I wrote this song, and and I love everyone watching and singing it. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you feel, Gerard. I wrote it. You're gonna get chose, man. For real, <laughs> support. Yeah, support you have on oh, one earring and, and half a beard. And you feel like you gonna get chose. Like, I'm about to get chose. And when that song go off, you ain't get chose. But in that moment, you still felt like you still get chose. Like, real talk. <laughs> oh, my God. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Look at you, though. Like, y'all like know how you know. we had some other people that come, and they be in drive through picking their kid up for ball practice. All kind of stuff. That was a good interview. Stop that. He was good. Yeah. Stop that. Yeah, yeah he, get, he he's a great Paul Wall yeah, was Can I get a number four? Paul, Paul Wall sat the whole show with us. He said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. Yeah, he he did. I feel like he probably would have stayed to it, but I told him, but I don't yeah. know. Who, yeah. Paul Wall was like, no, nah, I'm right here. We're going we gonna to finish the whole show. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> okay, well, shout out again. Shout out to little old... Uh, Maybe we'll have him back on. We uh actually we're trying to. I, I want Paul Wall to come back. We got to shout out to Shay and Latoria. We got to get in connection because he was hilarious. So we definitely want to try to get him. Yeah, y'all go get his album. Greatest of all players. Yeah, yeah greatest on of streaming all. platforms. Oh. And I put a link to his uh Instagram. Someone asked what his Instagram nice. page was. So if you look yeah. in the feed, you can see the nice. link. If you a gambler, T Lee, nigga, T Lee. Like, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, like, you said T Lee. Are we shooting dice? We shooting, bro. T Lee. Well, uh, look, uh, I thought T Lee was a person. So I, I did. Oh, no. <laughs> you stupid. When I was reading it, I was like, well, who is T Lee? Another rapper? I don't know who that is. 
One person grabbed it down, me grabbed it. Grab no, man, it's like, like that's, that's like when we get our highs, like, that's how the road starts. T Lee, like, I didn't ask though, I, I had enough sense to not ask. I just, yeah, yeah. T Lee, <laughs> baby, show your partner some love. But I mean, he would have knew you. He said you, you told him you was from Nebraska, so he under, he would have understood if you if you made yourself look silly. Sometimes less is more though. But no in the hole. But sometimes ignorance is bliss. Yeah, that's true. But he explained this, so I didn't have to look like a fool. That's definitely <laughs> all right. I, I got rid of the fool bus. All right, so we're gonna go into our. Uh, I'm I'm still laughing. He called that man filthy. That's most people just say dirty. He could call the man filthy. I love yes, it. No, no. I mean, filthy is worse than dirty. It is like you're trash if somebody you're, called you're yeah. filthy. Like that is no. He said like they're gonna filthy. get. He said we gonna get t-shirts that say they dirty d. <laughs> right. <laughs> And shockingly stupid. That's I'm about to hashtag that for the rest of the week. Like anytime I'm shockingly post stupid. Up, hashtag shockingly stupid. That yeah, I love he, it. he ain't speak nothing but the Did truth. You write it down. I, I think you wrote, wrote it down. down. Like, I, I think I saw you write that down. Hey, he ain't speak nothing but the truth, bro. Cause like, yeah. like, like he was speaking. Like you can have money. Like that money don't mean nothing if you don't have no charm. You don't right. have no 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 conversation. No, right. if you don't have no confidence in yourself. Yeah. No woman don't want to talk to you. Do you want to yeah. talk to a lame dude? Tell me, hey, how you doing? Man, I've I've been I've been a point had fifty seven dollars in my account and I'm still good. <laughs> you you feel like a million bucks. Women yeah. like confidence, so I do. I definitely agree with that. They do like them all the time. No, yeah. we ain't going out to eat. But you <laughs> <laughs> I got a last week. To I made a pot of beans. You at the house make some rotel, get you some nacho chips, and watch a good movie. You and get you a pack Man, of here. Uh, of, of Man, whatever. Look. That may be like sit, sit on the floor with right. a cover and a blanket. Yeah, and just make a little pillow. The nachos. Like, oh, oh, don't, don't bring those things back to 2004 and three. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't take me back to 2000. How to get some with ten dollars by T? I got you. Man, look here. <laughs> Damn, I forgot to say eighty nine hundred braids. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Man, that shit is bothering me, man. Man. You want me to call him back? Oh, hey, Tia, you had a good idea, though. He should have came out with the COVID mask back, yeah. back, 50 feet. Almost, I almost said, don't ever uh, skip over my comedy. Like, I almost said that, but I just let him make it. <laughs> just let my joke ride. Don't ever. <laughs> He's like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> nah, he was, I don't think he heard you. He didn't hear you. I don't think he heard you either. He, he Hold on, what did you me. say? I said he should have with the backpack. I said you should have jumped on the COVID train and made the backpack mask, like because it's COVID backpack. You could have made a little money. I yeah. said, oh, that, that, that was smart. I would have did the same thing. Yeah. Bag bag. Give me fifty. Yeah. Gonna, yeah. Right, they, money bread. He done sold so many masks. He sold so many masks for right. real. Right. I'm always got my entrepreneur hat on. All right, we're gonna move. How are you? <laughs> we're gonna go into our topic today. So. There was an intriguing video on Little Duval's face. I think Little Duval is absolutely hilarious. Um, he cracks me up. But this lady who he posted the video of, um, she's been around for a minute. I've seen other videos that she's had. And she um, she has some valid points. Like, you know, most women probably don't agree with what she says. But I feel like she has validity in some of the things that she says if you take out the religious aspect of validity. it. Validity. Yeah, I mean, you don't agree with it. It just means you don't agree with it, but it has some no, validity no. to it. The keyword she has validity. She definitely does. So I'm gonna post the link of her um clip from his page in the Michelle. comments, but just kind of quickly paraphrasing, she was saying that we aren't supposed to be monogamous. That's not a natural thing. Um, she was saying that men, uh, if your man has a, another chick and uh, he's taking care of both of y'all. You to say you either gonna be the main chick or the side chick. You should be able to just chill because even if you, most of the time you don't know that he's got somebody else anyway, and you in a, a double relationship anyway, you don't even know it. So if he's coming and telling you, "Hey, I'm with somebody else," and you're comfortable with that, then hey, you got him. He a main dude. He paying the bills. He's taking care of you. He's taking care of the other chick. He don't, you don't care, she don't care, y'all living in bliss. That's that's kind of summarizes what she says really quickly. Um, I sent it to everyone here. I don't know if everyone got an opportunity to listen to it. And again, I'm going to put it in the, the comments. So we're just kind of going to talk about it. Um, my only thing with it right. is uh, 
People were saying, Wait, Tina, go ahead. Can, can you play it on your phone so like everybody that's listening can hear it like right now? I send it to all y'all. Y'all can't play it? You want me to play it? Yeah. I got it when we had already started. I can yeah. play it right now. Yeah, go ahead, play it. Oh, I got to start it off. Hold on. Shit. But even the people watching so they can know what we're talking about. Go ahead, DP. No. It's not playing. Sorry. Oh, I hit my mic. Sorry. Hold on. Get into definition. Who told us that was cheating? Where did that idea come from that that's cheating? Man who has two women, that's not necessarily a mistress. That's just his other woman. Now we got two choices. We can be the woman or the other woman. You know, we don't have but those two. And I'm not saying that a lot of men are, are not just running around. I'm not talking about that. Mm -hmm. But if a woman finds out that her man has been with a woman while she's been with him for three or four or five years, that's a serious commitment and relationship. And if it hasn't taken anything from me, if I'm not going short of anything, and if this is what he thinks his responsibility is, then what kind of hell are you going to go through to prevent that? Since we cannot stop him. Now, I know we don't like that. I don't like that. You know, but that's the reality of our life at some point. But every about, man doesn't want to what about, but those that what do, about our morals do. and our religion? Whose religion? Whose morals? So whose idea are you representing when you stand up for those values? Not ours. Somebody else's. And it may work for them. But it doesn't work for us. It hasn't worked for anybody, really. But nobody wants to deal with the truth. Monogamy was only created because of the economics of it. So and C that is what not good meat was created for the economics of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like a bit I mean when you're you're in a business agreement though when you get married with the government, it's you and that person in a I mean it's you gotta think about this. I, I've had several women tell me that they had to sit in front of a judge and the judge decided on how they parted their money. Like what the what? Hold on, this yeah. dude don't know me from Tom, Dick, or Harry, and Ryan and Cindy. But and you have a decision on my life. If you have your parents' own stuff, like anything that you have, it don't even have nothing to do with your mate. They make you give a list of everything, and the government has a say. Now, so. mind you, Tia, you're right. I don't think everybody is meant for for polygamy, polygamous relationships. Some people are meant for monogamy. Yeah, There's nothing that's wrong with that, true. but. What's wrong with why are we shunning something of an idea that can may help us economically in the long run? Because the numbers are skewed, meaning there's more women out here in this world than there are men. So yeah, how do you yeah. expect everybody to be monogamous? But so one, you only... wanna, so one, I would say, you know, you 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 want you want to be monogamous. You theoretically want to be monogamous, but the problem is, so much disease is out there temptation so that's to me that's that's the best the the deal because you said, be so okay and finish your your topic yeah. um but she was saying that and i i, I heard, more behind it he was saying that she's not talking about the men that are loose but if he's right 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 people that's still you still kind of being loose you know right but okay. i will also say you know what's worse than dealing with one woman two women <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> See, here's my thing. What what gets on my nerves bad, about these kinds bad. of conversations? What gets on my nerves about these kinds of conversations is that it's always about the men having two women, but yeah. it's never about the woman. It's like you sit down and you wait for him. And so, if this is what we doing, this is what we do. Everybody, it's a free and, ball. And so, and so, you okay. do do that. So, no, but what I'm saying is that, but that's normally not how it's talked about when they have that thing. It's not you know. About. It's not talked about. So you want to have this conversation about this polygamous thing or, but that's not really the lens that she was coming from. Absolutely. She's coming from the lens of you got a man and he, yo, he got another woman. Okay. Your choice is to be his woman or be his other woman. Oh God. Right. Literally that's your two choices. Right. That sounds awful. Right. Like why, why are we not talking about the fact that if this she, is what we I don't think do. I don't think she so was, she said, she she said was, well her her standpoint is more so like well if you're happy and he just goes and get another woman just you know what on the way whatever and your lifestyle don't change why worry about it that's her standpoint you're right. talking more so morally morally yes why would you go and do that 
You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not talking about morally. I'm saying is why is the woman the one to have to sit down with this one man where he can go and have multiple women? Okay, you got. Because y'all not supposed women, to cheat back. Women. That's why. Well, and men can't emotionally hit. Men couldn't. Even, so, like, I'm um, with what Michelle said. Men would want that, but they wouldn't be able to emotionally handle the woman dating him and somebody else. Men can't handle that at all. No, but told we're you too, that women we're too emotionally handle. unstable for that. No. Yeah, not not, uh, not not all men, but some yeah, men can yeah, have. I told y'all, okay, so Now we 90, can't trust you. Ninety percent of men wouldn't be able. Um, ninety-five. Okay, ninety-five percent of men wouldn't be able to handle that. Um, I do agree, though, just from a scientific standpoint, that um, we are not meant to be monogamous. It is taught, like being monogamous is taught, like our natural beings of being human beings is to connect with multiple people to love multiple people to to just be around multiple people because we are emotional we uh, we can easily attach to someone that's why you have people at work and they be with each other eight hours and then are they smashing even though they got a wife at home because of the emotional connection or they um, become best friends i think it's i think it's more so to me i take it as taught as more more so as a protection mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like how can you really go wrong with being with just one person. How can you really go wrong with that? Ask people that's divorced. Well, well, no. It's not said that they're divorced. They just, they just did, no, they just growth, man change, situations change, but people change based on conditions anyway, whether you're in a marriage or not. So people are flipping the property. Right. I mean, but how can you really go wrong? You know, because you're able to you're able to trust more. Can you? Now, because now you can trust yourself. Hold on. You are with another woman. Two, take, two, take, it from, women. take it from this standpoint. Think about yeah. how insane it is to say that you're going to put a ring on a person's finger and now they're your property for the rest of your life. Well, that's well, you know, people back in the day used to marry. That, that doesn't make used to get much married. sense. Like now I own you, you're mine. Like, what the is that? Like to me, I think that's slump slightly narcissistic. And that's that's to me. I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's not wrong. Well, no, but it does have its levels of, of 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 that doesn't sound right. Like if right. you just really think about it, just so, think so, about so, that. So that's what came into more like the government, religion, those type things. So right. back in the day, in order to get marriage, it was just a public announcement. To get divorced was a public announcement with family and friends. You got in front of someone or a whole bunch of people, and you're saying we're married. You know, saying it wasn't a diamond ring, it wasn't none of that. So back in the day, it was oh yeah, we're married. It wasn't no you get divorced. It wasn't no splitting the property. It wasn't none of that. You get back in front of a public crowd, we're divorced, which most of the time is family, and y'all go y'all separate ways. That's literally what it was. Right now, uh, far as like getting married now, government wise, to me, to be honest with you, follow the money. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lawyer thing. It's it's a government thing. Split property thing. Children involved. We got to get these money for these children now. It's all money now. I make it, but you can't do that in a in a in a in a polygamous household. Don't get now married. Have... I mean, if you if you don't want to do it, just don't get married. You can find someone who probably don't want to get married either. But the government still has a play in it because even if you're not le legally married, if I live with that common law crap, amount of time I'm common law anyway, so the government still has their hand in it, and you still have to go to court. You still got to pay. No, just uh, don't file your taxes you together. Just gotta don't pay taxes the, together. And don't do all that stuff. Okay? It's taxes that come out of that because the government get a chunk. Of don't put your name on the same on the same apartment if y'all gonna do it. Do it like that. How you gonna get your mail check? You gonna have a PO box? Excuse me. Hey, Lamisha Watts is property. Box. She, she didn't like what I said properly. She laughed at me. I mean, I mean but that's I mean that's basically what you said. I said what I said, Lamisha. Like your kid is property. You have a child that, that kid belongs to you. That's your property. They own you. Yeah, but you 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 don't own you don't own a, you don't own your wife. You don't own your husband. Nobody wants to be owned. I don't Nobody want to own owned. nothing. That's that modern day slavery. Come on, man. Yeah. So I don't want to said I live for one, one man. Michelle, one. you don't agree. She want one man and a friend. She don't want to. Uh, she don't want the men to fry her nerves. That's a, what is that? <laughs> what is that a friend? Well, That's how you at the gas station. The man like you got a boyfriend, but then you be like, they be like, can I be your friend? Is that can I be your friend? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want him to say. What you want him to say? That is always a follow-up question. 
No. I don't be understanding that. He trying to get to know you. What is wrong you with that? Friends. Especially if you ain't you got a boyfriend. Have friends. Man, no, you tell them you have a boyfriend. You tell them you, tell you have a boyfriend. Or a husband. They don't care. They want to be oh, a friend. Okay. And the follow-up question be. is, yeah. so I'm saying you can't have friends? No, I can't. And then no you, new friends. Yeah, you be like, oh, then they'll be like, oh, he own you. He tell you what to do. They ain't trying to message you uh, like your pride. <laughs> and then I, and I turn it back on them. So if I was your girlfriend or your wife, and someone like you with the intentions that you have came at me trying to be my friend, would you be okay with that? Uh, uh I mean, uh, all right, bye. Hell yeah. <laughs> never, they no, never said, said that. They've never said that. But if you're married, um, but if you're married, do you want, I mean, honestly, if you're married, do you want like someone to have, you want your husband to have a girlfriend? No, you can't even have, you can't even have no new female friends. Like if you didn't have this, uh, situation established prior to me meeting you when you when we married and then two years later you got a friend no you, new friends no new friends I'm gonna slide you and your friend teeth gone both of y'all don't where she come from because you shouldn't be getting close enough but I'm your friend <laughs> <laughs> so Tia, Tia I'm your new friend <laughs> Tia you that who is this bitch <laughs> yeah because if I had never heard of her how y'all get so close where y'all had time to talk where was y'all at how, I'm where your new friend I'm, I'm, I'm your new friend always new friend I'm, I'm your forever friend I'm like the my buddy doll <laughs> For instance, oh, this is my friend from third grade I just caught up with her last week uh, and she gonna catch an L too you and her <laughs> she gonna catch two to the body and one to the head I can't date her because my friend in second grade dated her she just my friend man so man. I have a funny comment from someone she said, uh, let me find out the reason we couldn't get that new bedroom set is because you got a whole other woman for five years. So you mean to tell me we sleeping on your dead grandma bed and mattress? Oh. Nah, Earl. Uh-uh. <laughs> like, so y'all want to talk about money. Yeah. So you, we talking about money and why can't we be great over here? Because she follows back with, what if my lifestyle could change if he drops so raggedy LC? <laughs> we got to go to the movies on $5 Tuesdays. But if it was just us, we can go to the I pick. Somebody has to have a big problem with all that because you're splitting it up. No, yeah. thank you. Not interested. Ari, Renell, good job. Good yeah. job. That nice is, comment. You can't maintain mm -hmm. both. Both somebody's gonna take a loss. Like somebody's gonna take an L. So if you, you can, can do anything you put your mind to, you can do anything that you're good at. Well, if so, both of your women want a Porsche. You're gonna get both of them a Porsche. Yes, right? because that's my that's my wife. Yes, if I can afford it. Then I drive a Ford if, Escort. If I had a, a, a three two woman income, yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I man, get heck, no, man. In other cultures, man. they they do have um they I mean they do that. This is I mean in our culture heck, no. they don't do that typically, but um because it's even illegal. You can't be married to two people in the United States. Like you can go to jail for that. So it's illegal, but in other countries, men do have multiple a lot people. more other right. countries. So, so, so think about how. How that is that they make it illegal because they don't want you to move forward in life as such as you should. So they make things, hey, you, we're not gonna have more than a, a a two income household in this world, so we're not gonna let them benefit from that. That's like really fucked up. Like, why are they gonna put? Why are they gonna put a um a limit on how much your household can make? There's not a limit on how much your household can make. I mean, it, 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 in my opinion, it does because a normal person who's not an entrepreneur, like such as yourself, Tia, if, if, there, if there are only two incomes coming in, then, then what, if, what if there's three or four? What if he, this girl, this woman has four husbands? You know what I'm saying? Well, do you just, I mean, there's tons of single people that make six, seven figures in this world. They, it's them and their wife. So you just, yeah, they sound dope. No, they, <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm playing, but yeah, you're yeah, right, you're right. But I'm, I'm just saying, on um, for an average person who doesn't have the mindset of as we do, entrepreneurs who just works. So, so imagine you okay have two girlfriends. So you're okay. You're okay with being one of three husbands or one of three boyfriends. Oh, oh, openly. I'm, I'm, I'm not that here. I, I'm not saying I won't be later on in life, but right now I'm not. No. Okay. So, but one. So you really like this chick? And she was like, I'm digging you. I like your sneaker game. You can put a little lotion on your ankles. Other than that, you're good. <laughs> oh, man. I had to do it. Um, I thought you were going to get on my hair. Oh, you shouldn't have brought that up. I'll get you later for that. 
No, but I mean, I I'm not as of that. right now. No, I'm not that because I feel like I am financially where I can take care of myself. Okay. But if I do come across a woman and she does have the notion that she does, maybe you never know. Who am I? I, I might switch my mind. Okay. Doubt, it, doubt it, but you know. Somebody said most men can't even handle one woman, let alone two. Gerardo just said that too. Yeah. I agree with that because y'all be out here struggling. A lot of us ain't most men. Well, you said ninety. You said ninety-five percent. Right. Okay, you're right. You're right. But yeah. some of us ain't most me. That's true. You don't know what you you don't know what you can't do until you put yourself up to the moment of that challenge. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself to new horizons. So that's 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 a mess. I can't get past Dorado looking like Lorenz Tate from Equal. I don't. Is it is it Equal? Is that man? You hear you see? Put your hat back on. You can be and everything. That is crazy looking. That's why I had my hat on. Well, put it back on. Nobody told you to take it off. <laughs> Drake took my hat off and he took off running. Get it back. Bro. <laughs> Can I have my hat back? Yes. Thank you. Michelle, what more do you have to say about this topic? <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> I mean, I get what Michelle, you how is it stupid? It, so you would not be willing to be quiet. <laughs> What's she saying? I just want y'all to be open minded. Like I'm open minded no, as well. I get what she's saying. Okay. It just isn't for me. I get what she's saying. I think it works in other cultures. I just feel like in the United States, we've been um programmed to not process and think like that. So that's not how that's not our norm. And we don't see outside of just being in a monogamous relationship. Cause again, that's what we were taught. That right. is that is what is pushed. Like marriage is pushed. If I live in another place and polygamy was a thing then it would I, I get it because I, I know people who have a polygamous relationship but they aren't Americans they are of another culture and it works for them but I know several polygamous relationships and they're black white yeah the people that are black as well yeah yeah they're black they it's two wives and um a husband so I know I know a wife and two husbands yeah hey I'm not I'm not even mad figure it out whatever y'all need to do to make y'all so happy at the end of the day but it was it was definitely an interesting um topic let's see if there are any comments very interesting though way stupid Joe Jackson oh, she said have some kids like Joe Jackson and teach them how to sing and dance <laughs> I mean I guess if you had a plan hey if you're gonna have a whole bunch of wives you better have a plan to take care of these kids they you better have a plan for their future it better be some Beyonce's and, and Chris Brown's and Dennis Crump. All you need is one of them. Just get, get you right. one. No, we, I need all of them to do something. Like, every one of y'all got to do something if we're going to have all these kids and multiple wives. Like, somebody yeah, like the Manning, the Manning kids. Yeah. Everybody got to Archie and Cooper. Right. <laughs> and everybody got to be a star. Eli. Okay. Um, that's all I have for the, the topic. So we're going to wrap it, wrap it up. So we're going to go around and say why we are um, if anything grinded your gears today, made you upset, it made you angry. Um, last call for alcohol. So, uh, Geralda, what happened to you today? Um, uh, why am I mad today? I, I'm trying to think why, why I was mad today. I'm not really mad about anything. I don't know what I'm mad about. Okay, that's fair. I don't. That's fair. All right. We'll find out. I'll catch me when they talk about after my uh child performance review, and then I'll. No. We'll see if I have something mad about or happy about. It's going to be one of the two. I hope he behaves himself. You took his chain back, so he should be on the straight and narrow now. He right here. <laughs> My bad. I didn't know he didn't know. The DB. <laughs> he got your chain, Dre. Uh, why am I mad? Um, mm-hmm. I'm not, I guess I'm like Gerard. I'm not really mad about that. Uh, Oh no, I am. I, I, I guess I'm mad because I know I ain't gonna get nothing for Christmas. <laughs> what me? Why are you saying that? Why do you... I don't. I don't find that humorous, guys. Why do you, how do you know you're not getting anything for Christmas? Because I know I ain't getting. I ain't got nothing to last nineteen years. You you were dating the person didn't get you a gift when you was dating. Well, Santa must know you've been naughty. Oh yeah, I did get something. I forgot. I didn't want that shit. Yeah, but I got. I mean, I got some. No bullshit. I did want them. That was a joke. No, but I got the what I had got. <laughs> my son started to cry about it, so I gave it to him. What? Yes. No. One of those damn daddies. 
Yeah, no, you just have you'd have been your eyes would have been red and and, and uh, I ain't that dad. And he didn't cry, but he like I was like, man, I don't I'm well, mine is mine is mine. Yeah, nope. exactly. You can't like, yeah, do that. Nope. You get him break. Know, no, I have no problem it's, telling Dre no. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all want for Christmas? Are you gonna buy it? Nigga, did I? Oh my God. Why does this? You know, you miss your blessing. You just miss your blessing. All you had to do was answer the question, and I might have got it because you asked. Okay, well, I want a Porsche Cayenne. Would you gonna get that? What? Lord, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, done. Mm-mm. well, Jeff, as well. Oh, I'll get you a Hot Wheel. You're like, yeah, I got, I got you. Those don't come in Hot Wheels. <laughs> I'll make them. Shit. <laughs> Michelle, your turn. <laughs> Um, I'm mad that people still believe uh, the Facebook life happiness that uh, exists. Um, it's And it's funny because you're trying to keep up with something that is already non-existent or <laughs> false or fake. Or and then, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, we, we posting it for the book. And, you said, you said the Facebook where, happiness? Yes, Facebook happy. You know, the people who are Facebook happy, the couples that are Facebook happy, the vacation trip that was Facebook perfect. Like, you know, just like all those things. And then you have the people who were watching this and they feel some type of way and inadequate. And so then they go out and do more stuff. And I'm like, you feel like, like, man, look, I know y'all don't come to me with that bull. Y'all on Facebook and like y'all happy, but you calling me the next day talking about a man ready to divorce and all that. Okay. Well, it's and it's not even that, but it's the people who then turn around, like, oh, they look at your fake Facebook happy, and then now you relationship goals, and then they trying to go do all this other stuff, and they causing issues on their side of their life, and it's like, no man, just just live your life, run your race, and please don't be bothered about what these other people are doing on Facebook. I like to print. I like to pretend to be naive. If they Facebook happy, go ahead. In my mind, they Facebook happy. Oh well. Yeah, but, they, and if, if they're Facebook happy, great. And if they're really happy, great. But you don't go feeling inadequate because of their happiness. True. Because of their faith. And that's what it is. That's yeah. the message. There we go. Yeah. Don't listen to that bull. My God. T Lee. T Lee, nigga. <laughs> man. <laughs> don't so many fake Facebook happy people. It's ridiculous. Hey, man. <laughs> that don't glorify that. Man, let people, let people pretend to be happy. That may be their happiness. Like, yeah. Don't knock that, y'all. Oh, nobody shit. knocks them. We we just speak silently about it. But yeah, nobody says anything. Do you? I don't. Know, whatever floats your boat. I'm supposed to. No, and this this is coming from a memory that I had yesterday, and it was me in a picture smiling with five kids, and it was a weekend. I literally walked in the house for two point two seconds. It was like, oh y'all, come on, let's take a picture. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, bye, gotta go. <laughs> it happened. And. Yeah. And it, it just it just made me laugh, and I was like, oh, and, and I totally did it as a joke. But it was it your friends' kids else. or what? Your nieces and nephews, what? Yeah, nieces and nephews and cousins, and um, but it was just a funny thing. But then I remember another time where someone stressed out about a birthday party because of what they saw that someone else did for a birthday party from pictures, and then oh. they had to do, and it was like, no, ma'am, let me tell you that that this is how it works. Like, no, stop. Yeah, and then it just but it just goes on and on and on and on and on and there's so many instances and in, in times where people feel inadequate because of what they're watching on social media and you i'm like, like that's, Stop that's it. like a, a competition like they're, they're you're competing. watching the highlight you know if you on facebook and you're looking at other people and you feel inadequate that's a you problem yeah that's a honest inter- with you that's a you problem that's not a facebook problem that's a you problem and it's you need to get yourself saying. together Cause if you sitting up judge, thinking judging your life on somebody on Facebook or judge whatever they do on Facebook, you could be anything you want to be on social media. And if you go on social media thinking this person got together, we all thought that Tristan and Chloe was gonna be all right after the second time he cheated. Yeah, we'll look you don't leave that nigga. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Never. I, I I mean I I I saw <laughs> what's his name comment and Tiffany Haddish says, oh man they're gonna be all right. They ain't together no more already. Hollywood relationships. Don't Come on, man. Bad. You could be anything you want to be on Facebook. Behind closed doors, they hate each other goods, probably. Everybody's a doctor on Facebook nowadays. And, um, or they're a uh, philosopher. or a, Yeah. Um, yeah. A love therapist. Yeah. A marriage counselor. Yeah. 
just making people laugh. That's that's all it. Is. Right. Um, I mean, if you have if you have a, a quote that you read somewhere, you want to post it on Facebook, yeah, do it. Ahead. You yeah, may yeah. inspire somebody, but don't own that shit. Put yeah. the own slash tag underneath it, like I do. Did you say like, 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 like it'd be like, fuck them kids, Nelson Mandela. I always do that shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Nelson. You said Nelson Mandela. Tia, did you say why you was mad? No, uh, I'm actually not mad either. I don't, the holidays just put me in such a great mm-hmm. spirit. I, I'm not mad at all. Um, I don't like Scrooges though. People that are Grinches during the holiday, that irritates me. Like you should be happy during the holidays. Um, but I do, I do want to, I've been reading, this is uh, should have been a part of my happy, but I've been listening to two audiobooks. So Will Smith has an amazing audiobook. If um, it just, I think it hasn't been out that long, maybe a month, I, I think, but it's really good. I've been listening to it. And then Gabrielle Union, I love her audiobooks. Um, I think this is her third book. Uh, you almost got, what is, no, I think we're going to need, you got anything stronger. So that's the name of her um, audiobook, but amazing. Her story is amazing. Uh, just dope being a, a Black woman, just in the entertainment industry, being a, a wife to a mega athlete and, you know, just being a mom. So it's really good. I believe everything Will Smith says. That man been suffering in silence. <laughs> I, well, I haven't got to the 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 parts. Uh, I think he kind of talks about. I heard uh, in the book, like kind of like his struggle with marriage and all of that. So he was really, saying he had so much sex he was throwing up. Yeah, yeah. like sex addict and stuff. Yeah, he was smashing in his mama's kitchen doggy style. She called him. She had some uh, quiet shoes on. He didn't know she was coming in there. <laughs> <laughs> You got caught, but the book is the book is good. So, uh, on, if you don't have a Christmas tree, are you considered a Scrooge? Most of a Christmas tree, right? In my right here still ain't went got it yet. I don't think it's Christmas. Christmas. Late now. I you talk about your spirit, your spirit, like you. You like, hey, everybody, I'm, I'm in the building. It's a good holiday of trees. Just tree. That's a that's man. I'm just an accent. Yeah. I just like the people. It's like that's your tree, Michelle. Um, correct. Yeah. Right. To me, doing better than me. I ain't. I asked my kids, crazy. "Y'all want to go to a kids' tree?" They're like, "Well, what?" I'm like, "Oh, what?" Yeah. Kids, when they grown. They don't want to do nothing. They just, they just want to play video games and sit around. Well, and that's all they want to do. Nothing at all. Like they kids, play like, jobs around at their Right, playing video games. That's all they do. That's all our kids do. They, they don't interact. They don't play outside. They don't get no vitamin D. They just literally play video. They go games. outside. He like to go outside, but when he in the house. On that video, huh? they gonna have bad eyes. The kids of today, they vision gonna be messed up by the time they in their twenties. They not even gonna, they gonna all have glasses. I will say, them. I will say, he go outside, we go outside. He'll go outside. That's good. Cool. We get back in this house. Play with outside, cause kids gonna be outside. I play with him. I go outside with him. Not your old tail. We talking about some kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna go outside oh, yeah, right now. Go outside now. Dog, what you mean, my old tail? Mike still got to <laughs> jump on Dre a long time. He beat me in anything. I never see kids out. It'd be like one or two little boys. They may play basketball on their driveway, but other than that, them kids don't be outside. Oh, I play baby. We go outside and play basketball all the time. You're not That's talking good. about you. Nobody but you me. call me old. You are old. You're not his friend. I we guarantee I'm not the oldest on, on this on this uh podcast. It don't matter. We ain't outside playing with kids either. So it don't matter. <laughs> All right, we we will be back. next week is the week of Christmas. It's the twenty first, so we'll catch y'all next Tuesday. Oh well, maybe are we gonna do a show next Tuesday? We need to change the date, Michelle. We can twenty first. You saying we can do? Huh. We can, we can do the twenty first, the twenty eighth. I don't oh, even know. Okay. No, no, we gonna okay. Right, right, right. Okay, so next week will we'll be maybe we should all meet up together and do if everybody's free, do like a Christmas Christmas. Oh, yeah. I want to do the white elephant. No, never mind. Oh, we can. That'll be fun. That's okay. Never mind. Oh, we're gonna do it now. Thanks, DB. It was DB's yeah. idea. We're gonna do a live um, white elephant. It's gonna be so fun. Let's not do over. What's the what's our monetary amount? Why do you have like twenty twenty five dollars? It's like huh? twenty twenty five dollars. It's usually like a white, like a company thing. 25? Okay, twenty five dollars, something like that. Okay, twenty. We'll do twenty. Twenty twenty five. All right. Next week. All right, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so we'll see you guys. <laughs> we do ugly sweat. I'll send some details. We're gonna. Be I got oh ugly sweaters. We gotta wear ugly sweaters. Okay, ugly sweaters. DB, put some. I'm gonna get you lotion regardless of what the white elephant gift is. You're getting yeah. lotion. We gonna 
some aquaphor. <laughs> User it. He needs. <laughs> hey man, y'all so wrong. I don't know what I did to you. Didn't I have aquaphor for you, dog? No. You did. You did. I, had the aquaphor. I really thought we was on good terms. Like I don't know. We are. We're always. If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't talk about you. Dang. We had the aquaphor ready. So, yeah. Hey. All right, well, we'll see you guys right, next Tuesday. Peace, love, and coconut oil. We'll see you next week. Put put Michelle on your uh, sick and 8900 Bridgewood, ho. <laughs> put Michelle on your sick and shut in list and pray for her. I wish we could do a scroll and put the Michelle name like at the church. They just have a yeah. scroll on the street. Put, put Michelle on your church announcements for the sick and shut in. She was at 102, but her temperature's going down. Praise God. Praise God. Sister Michelle, we need to be praying Michelle for Simpson you. Is having 100, 102 fever. She's, she's fighting COVID. She's, she's fighting for her life. COVID? She's fighting COVID 19. The vid. <laughs> we. We she hope we hope she can breathe through yeah. this troubling she, she, time. Yeah, all right. She didn't look good on the show last week. She didn't say much, but her temperature's gone down to one oh one. Praise God. <laughs> I'm gonna end this whole thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye y'all. COVID nineteen. The vid. <laughs> hope she does so much better. I'm oh, sorry. Lord. <laughs> Bye.